everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a birthstone inspired makeup look this is the last birthstone inspired makeup look which is for December and it's also tanzanite I was looking online and it looks like you guys have three different birthstones you can pick from they had like tanzanite blue citrine I think I saw and there was another one that I don't remember so I definitely wanted to do like a dark blue but I also wanted to incorporate the blue citrine type color so that's why I did like a bright blue color in here I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are a December baby let me know down in the comment section below I also hope you guys enjoyed this birthstone series and December obviously is the last month of the year so this is the last birthstone inspired makeup look that I will have for you guys so if you guys love this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up please also subscribe if you haven't already I do want to mention I do have a holiday giveaway still going on it is international so if you guys are interested in entering that it will also be linked down below if you want to see how I created this look then just continue watching are primed and set as well. I actually like to do one eye off of camera just because I never know what I want to do. I had another eye look on. It was like a halo eye and I had glitter in the center and I, I did not like it at all so I took it off and started over. So this is going to be my December inspired birthstone makeup look eye <laughs> we're gonna do the other eye together but um yeah this is the last birthstone inspired makeup look and i'm pretty excited about that for the palette that we're going to be taking is going to be this be perfect carnival palette and this is what it looks like I did use like the browns in here and also the dark blue, but I did notice that it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. So I also did go in with my Meet Matrimony and just used the black in here and I mixed that blue with the black. So we're going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the shade called Basic. And I'm just going to be applying this in my crease. I hope you guys enjoyed this birthstone series. I had a lot of fun creating the, the different looks inspired by the birthstones. I'm just going in again with the color called Basic still and kind of building it up in my crease. I have two of these BH Cosmetic brushes and this one is soft and the other one is like really scratchy. Next up I'm going to be taking the shade called Rowdy and I'm also going to be applying this in my crease just to kind of deepen it up. So you could go in with a really like a black eyeliner or a black ba a dark base for the lid. I didn't do that, but you could. So I'm just going to take another BH Cosmetics brush. This is, says the number 7 brush. It's just like a flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade called Mood and I'm just tapping some on my brush and then I'm also going to go in with the black shade in here and kind of tap off any excess cuz all that is going to fall on my face if I don't and I'm just going to tap this onto my lid and build it up to the shade that I want it to be. I want it to be dark and opaque so we're just gonna build it up. Apply and build it up. And you wanna pack it to like close to your um, crease cause then we're gonna kinda try to diffuse it so it's not such like a harsh line like it is right here. You know it's kinda diffused. And I'm just going to go in with my favorite Coastal Sense brush. This is like the perfect like apply in your crease and also the outer corners as well. And it really diffuses shadow as well really nicely. So I'm just going to go in with two shades in the Be Perfect palette actually. I'm going to take the shade Mood that we've been taking and also mixing it with the Shimmery Type Satin shade called Recharge. And again tapping off excess because I already did my foundation so I don't want any of this blue on my face. And I'm just going to go in the crease and kind of blend out these edges so it's not so harsh. And as you can see, it's kind of diffusing the color and it doesn't look such like a harsh dark lid and then crease color. And I'm going in lightly too. I'm not really like going in my crease and kind of going hard. I'm going lightly on the edges just to, again, be able to diffuse that color out. And I'm going to go in back with the fluffy brush that I used for my crease, the brown colors. And I'm just going to go over that and kind of diffuse it as well. So now what I'm going to do for, I'm going to do the inner part like that. And I'm going to do like if I'm going to start a cut crease, but I'm just going to leave it 
like in the inner part. So I'm just taking my ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer, just in the white shade, and then I'm also taking this Royal Lynchnickel. Um, it's a like craft brush, like an art brush. I got it from Joann's. And I'm just going to be applying some just on the tip part of the brush. I'm just gonna go like if I'm gonna cut my crease, but I'm just gonna keep it right in the like front part of my lid. And I'm just pretty much like kind of tapping my brush onto my lid. And swiping a little bit. Kind of like so. And then I'm going to go in with a really small, precise brush. This is by um, Coastal Scents. This is kind of like a pencil brush. You could go in with a pencil brush. It's kind of smaller than that, though. Um, again, this is by Coastal Scents. And I'm going to take the shade called Breezy. It's like a shimmery turquoise color. And I'm just going to tap it on there to kind of set this color. And you do kind of need to build it up a little bit. And tapping it on over the concealer and just build it up. And then I kind of just um, pulled my brush upwards from the concealer to kind of extend it and kind of make it thinner up here. The last shade we're gonna be taking for our lash line is the shade called Pink Me. I didn't even know it was pink. I thought it was just like a shimmery white. Oh shoot. Actually, <laughs> it is kind of like duochrome pink. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, balm shade this like nude color and go over that because I don't really want pink up here. I didn't even know it was pink. And I'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush that I use for my crease and kind of blend the edges. I had already used that pink me shade on this side, but I didn't even read the name until now that I was telling you guys what I'm using. But yeah, I'm just going to apply liner and lashes off of camera and I will be right back. And for lashes, I'm going to be taking the Kiss lashes. They come in this packaging right here. In the Style Gala, I'm going to take my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and I think that is all. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that off of camera and I'll be right back. So the lashes are now on. I'm going to go in with this liner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Deep End. And I'm just going to be applying this in my waterline. It's a really pretty turquoise liner. And I feel like it really brings the whole look with this color, with the color that's in my inner part there. And I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to mix the two shades that I applied on my lids. So the shade Mood and the black shade in the Meet Matrimony palette. And I'm just going to apply this really close to my lash line. There's so much kickback. Good thing I'm tapping off my brush because all that would be on my face. <laughs> And I want to go in with the fluffy Coastal Scents brush. This is a classic blending brush. I know the name of this because I use this brush so much. And I'm going to go in with the shade called Recharge, which is like the satiny blue color. And I'm just going to smoke out this part down here. Smoke out the edges a little bit. So I did apply my mascara to the lower lashes, but I think I'm going to apply a color in my inner corners. Let's see what brush do I got here that I can use. Maybe I'll go in with this one. I'm gonna go in with the shade called Mooney. It's like a gold white color. And apply it in my inner corners here. Just to kind of open this look up a little bit. I feel like it's kind of dark. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I did apply this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Third Eye. So this is what's on my lips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this birthstone inspired Tanzanite slash Blue Citrine eye look. Um, I really enjoyed creating this look. Something different for me, not something that I would really go out in public in. But it's really pretty and I'm glad I got inspired for that birthstone this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this birthstone series. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!